The cabinet continued to come under fire today, a day after it decided to raise the minimum hourly wage, but not the minimum monthly wage. Minister without portfolio Guan Zhongming said the move was made to help Taiwan's small and medium-sized enterprises. But opposition lawmakers wonder why those same companies were ignored when the government increased power and fuel prices. The cabinet announced Wednesday that an increase in the minimum monthly wage would depend on general economic conditions. As for raising the monthly wage, that will wait until GDP has grown by more than 3 percent for two straight quarters or when the unemployment rate falls under 4 percent for two consecutive months. DPP legislators charged that setting thresholds for raising the minimum wage amounted to bullying local workers. But Minister Without Portfolio Guan Zhongming, the main backer of the cabinet's move, said that with the local economy struggling, it was not the right time to raise minimum monthly pay. This is definitely not just helping big capitalists. It's the opposite. The government is helping more small and medium-sized enterprises. So when labor groups say we haven't even given them a stewed egg, everybody should not forget that if we create more unemployment, we won't be talking about stewed eggs. Some people won't even have a grain of rice. The Minister Without Portfolio's reasoning is really amusing. When the prices of electricity and fuel were increased, which put even greater pressure on small and medium-sized enterprises, why did the government want to raise those prices in the first place? The opposition party charged that the government has done a poor job on the economy and was forcing marginal workers to pay for its questionable policies. As long as Taiwan's economy remains in the slump, such criticism is not likely to go away.